Do you know how to work out column vector questions? This topic is a super easy way to gain marks, so make sure you know what you're doing. Here we have vector a, which is 9 minus 2, and then we have this other vector, minus 4a plus 3b, which is 9 minus 4. This question is more so towards higher tier students. Find B as a column vector. Okay, so we've got a slightly more complex question here. We want to do some unpicking. We're going to reverse it, aren't we? First of all, I'd say we want to work out B. We don't know what B is, so let's focus on A. If we know that A, or effectively 1A, is 9 minus 2, what about minus 4A? Let's just work that out first, shall we? So minus 4A means I need to multiply both numbers in the A vector by negative 4. 9 times negative 4 is negative 36 and then negative 2 times negative 4 is actually positive 8 so that's the minus 4a part they've taken this let's write it out and they've added 3b which we don't know what that is and that gives us 9 minus 4 do you see how we almost got an equation here i mean obviously the top numbers and the bottom numbers are separate but we've got effectively two equations so how do i go from minus 36 if i were to add something to get 9 or what's the difference well i'd obviously have to add 45 wouldn't i to get from minus 36 to positive 9 the same thing here how do i go from 8 if i add something to get minus 4 well it would have to be first of all negative wouldn't it it would have to be negative 12 now that's not our answer that was the 3b wasn't it those are the same so we can write down that 3b is 45 negative 12 and therefore b we just have to divide it by 3 so 45 divided by 3 is 15 and negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4 so there's our answer b as a column vector is 15 negative 4. If you found this helpful, make sure to check out the GCSE Math Pro YouTube channel where you can find full videos going through everything that we've just seen.